Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will explain dynamic memory allocation in C. Normally, we will initialize values like this. If you consider this array example, here I given size as 10. A of 10 is equal to 1, 2, 3. I given size as 10, but I given only 3 values. So whenever I declare like this, it will create 10 memory locations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So total it will create 10 blocks and this one is stored in first block, 2 in second and 3 in third block. As we know, integer will occupy 2 bytes of memory. So here I given size as 10 so it will occupy 10 into 2 that is 20 bytes of memory but i given only three values so this one will occupy two bytes two bytes two bytes and all this remaining memory is wasted though i given size as 10 i initialized only three values so that all this remaining memory is wasted so in order to overcome this problem that is in order to save memory we use dynamic memory allocation guys you need to remember one thing that is each integer will occupy two bytes of memory whereas each character will occupy one byte of memory for example if you consider 10 20 10 this 10 will occupy two bytes of memory 20 will occupy two bytes of memory and 10 will occupy two bytes of memory for example if you consider single character this c will occupy one byte of memory a will occupy one byte of memory and D will occupy one byte of memory. By using dynamic memory allocation, we can allocate memory at runtime. That is, we can allocate memory during the execution of program. Dynamic memory allocation in C language is possible by four functions. For dynamic memory allocation, we use four functions. They are first one is malloc, second one is calloc, third one is realloc, and fourth one is free. These are the four functions that we use for dynamic memory allocation. And these four functions are present in hcdlib.h header file, standard library header file. It First, I will explain malloc function. malloc function allocates single block of requested memory. This is syntax malloc of number into size of integer. I will give example so that you can clearly understand. Here I written example malloc of 15 into size of integer. That means I am taking integer value and I am giving size as 15. That means it will create one single block and it will allocate size as 15. 15 into 2 that is 30. So now I can store 15 values inside this for example you may get doubt like if i give only three values then though i given size as 15 it will occupy size only for this three that is it will occupy only six bytes of memory this is use of malloc function by using malloc function we can create single block of memory of required size though i given here size as 15 but if i given here only three values then it will occupy memory for only that three values this is malloc function next i will explain calloc function calloc function allocates multiple blocks of requested memory this is syntax calloc of number comma size of integer this is an example here i written calloc of 15 comma size of integer whenever i declare like this this calloc function will create 15 blocks and each block occupies two bytes of memory this is difference between malloc and calloc what malloc function will do is malloc function will create only single block of size 15 but whereas CLR function will create each block like that it will create 15 blocks. The difference between malloc and CLR function is malloc function will create single block of memory and whereas CLR function will create 15 small blocks of memory where I can store single value inside one block. For example, if I given here only three values like 3, 12 and 13 then though I given size as 15 it will consume memory only for these three values. So it will occupy only 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is it will occupy only 6 bytes of memory. This is use of CLR function. And next one is realloc. For example, in MLR function we given size as 15. But if you want to increase this size to 30, then you need to use realloc function. If you want to change given size, then you need to use realloc function. This is syntax in order to change size. Here I written realloc and this is variable name and I am changing size 15 to 30. So you need to write here 30 into size of integer. Whatever the memory that you assigned, you need to delete this memory at last. So you can delete this assigned memory by using free function. This is use of free function. I will explain programs for this. This is program for MLR function. At first I written hash include hdv.h. After that I written hash include string.h because I am using string in this program. So I written here string.h header file. And next I written hash include hcdlib.h. As I already said, this malloc is present in hcdlib.h header file. So I written here hash include hcdlib.h. After that I written void main. Inside void main I written character pointer p. I am taking pointer variable. I am giving this pointer variable name as p. And after that I written p is equal to 
mloc of 15 into size of character because i want to store character so i written here character here also you need to write character for example if you want to store integer values then you need to write here int and then here you need to write int but now i want to store character so here i written character data type whenever you declare like this this mla function will create single block of memory with size 15 as i already said before character will occupy one byte of memory so 15 into one that means each character will occupy one byte of memory total a given size of 15 so it will take 15 bytes of memory if pointer is equal to null then print couldn't able to allocate memory for example there is situation like there is no memory in our system so at that time it will print couldn't able to allocate memory if memory is not present in our system then it will print this statement couldn't able to allocate memory else if memory is present in our system then i want to transfer this string to pointer variable p if memory is not present then it will print couldn't able to allocate memory else if memory is present then by using string copy function i can copy this text nagendra to pointer variable p so now my pointer variable p contains information nagendra now i want to print this information by using printf so i written here printf percentage s because this is string for that purpose we need to use percentage s comma p so by writing this i will get output as nagendra though i given here size as 15 but my text contains only 8 characters so it will occupy only 8 bytes of memory this is use of mloc function and at last you need to remove this allocated memory by using free function so i written here free of p because p contains information so I written here free of p. This is program for mloc function. Next I will explain program for cloc function. Guys this program is same as mloc function. Only difference is that here you need to write p is equal to cloc of 15 comma size of character. Wherein before example we written mloc of 15 into size of character but here you need to write 15 comma size of character whenever you write like this cloc function will create 15 small blocks and each block occupies one byte of memory whereas mloc will create single block of size 15 and whereas cloc function will create 15 small blocks these are the differences between mloc and cloc function next one is realloc function for example i assign value as 15 but now i want to change this value to 100 so for that purpose you need to use here it first i written p is equal to cloc of 15 into size of character but i want to increase this size 15 to 100 then for that purpose i need to use realloc function so i written here p is equal to realloc of p at first you need to write p because this C log is present in P. So you need to write here P comma 100 into size of character. So by writing this, my size is changed from 15 to 100. This is use of real log function.